And Mr. Barg, I wanted to give you a little insight on the neighborhood. This is the only entrance right here. Pull in. You can make a right or a left actually to get to where you go. You usually make a left actually. But I didn't want to turn around. Around the corners. And it's two car garages on every unit actually. And then uh, this unit right here would be the one for sale 128 so it's an end unit which is a plus and this is the pool area for the community it's a small pool but when you live 10 minutes from the beach who cares um i'm gonna drive you around the outside because i haven't heard from the real estate agent yet so i don't know if i'm going to be able to get in or not so here's the outside of the community. I'm gonna drive around and get um, video of the whole block. So this is Drew Street. You take Drew Street very far down. It'll take you almost to the beach. But you gotta hang or left to get to 60 or you take a right and get to, and get to, uh, Honeymoon Island. It's one of the golf courses. I don't know the name of it. It's the other side of the building right here. So this is this end unit right here is the one that's for sale. It's actually in the same complex as the one that I didn't get to see, which was this one right here. So it looks like these are for sale too. I wonder what this is going for. I haven't I didn't even know it was for sale, so I'll check that out when I get home as well. Um, and overall, my feelings on the community. Um, I'm not sensing like... I, I mean, I'm just not sold, personally. Uh, I do like that literally at the end of this street, is the beat like it's pretty much like you just keep going and you get to the beach um but i mean this neighborhood isn't like it it's not speaking my language uh but i will say this when you drive into the community you're gonna get ready to drive in again and i'm gonna make a left this time instead when you drive in the neighborhood you forget about everything um, I like it's not like you're surrounded by an HOA. I'm sure the community has an HOA. And again, it's just when you drive in, it's, it really has a good feeling when you drive in. I will give it that. Um, I don't know. It's, it's rough. I, I, I'm not certain what to say about how I feel about it, but... I definitely can say I like the way that the neighborhood feels. There's a unit again right there. Um, I love the way the neighborhood feels itself. The neighborhood is really actually nice. There's maybe only two dozen units in here. So I'm sure there's like a community atmosphere. Um, but the area is not bad. If I was gonna say, would I would I live here? Would I would I hesitate about living here? No, I wouldn't. And especially, it's like really honestly, this part is the worst part. Like for you know, I don't see a bunch of people that do readers across the street. Of course, across the street. Nice. Hey, on the video froze. Okay. okay. But uh, that's really it, man. Actually, uh, I'm gonna drive down to. The, I'm going to see if I can find the um, the boat launch. Actually, no, I don't have time. I'm sorry. I was waiting for the real estate agent to get on. So uh, I'm going to send you this video and I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. It started like being jumpy at the end. It's processing now, so.